Hello, this is Crossing the Sticks, and today we will delve into the legacy of the Norn. I do apologize for the condition of my voice, as it appears I am getting a tad sick, but on we go regardless. So, in the frigid mountain range of the far Shiver Peaks, the Norn made their home. They were revered as warriors and grew up to nine feet tall. But when Jormag, the Elder Ice Dragon, awoke, the Norn sought to fight it, as they had all enemies previously, but he was far too powerful for them. The Norn were forced to leave where they have lived for generations. The spirits of the wild protected the Norn whilst they fled, and many died protecting the Norn, and many died while staying back to fight the dragon. Though with the help of the four greatest spirits, the wolf, the bear, the raven, and the snow leopard, they were able to find sanctuary in old dwarven lands. The Norn as a people value the individual. They're not a race that are prone to living in cities. Instead, they often live alone in the wilderness, protecting themselves with their own might and will. After fleeing the Shiver Peaks, however, Holbrack was founded, and it continues to act as the center of Norn civilization. It is the located at the point where the fleeing Norn were led by their spirits. It now acts as a place to trade, drink, and meet, though few live there permanently. Nut White Bear is one who makes his home in Holbrack and keeps it safe. He is not the Norn leader by any stretch, but one could argue he is the closest they have to a ruler. His city is dominated by five great Norn buildings. One is his Great Lodge, the other four are dedicated to the four great spirits who led the Norn from Jormag. The spirits are revered in Norn culture, and each represents certain Norn virtues. The bear, with strength, the wolf with unity, the raven with wisdom, and the snow leopard with stealth and cunning. Most Norn respect goes to these four greatest spirits. The spirits give the Norn power as well. Not only virtues are given by these great beings, the Norn are actually given the ability to change their form into were-creatures. It gives them a greater understanding of the world around them and lets them become closer to the spirits they venerate. The Dwarvitz lands were ruined long before the Norn's arrival. Their fight with an elder dragon led to this ruination. Now the Dwarven homes have been taken by the Dredge the dwarves' former servants and slaves. We can easily say they do not enjoy the Norn presence around, and neither do the Jotun, or Jotun, or Jotun, or something like that. Swedish, probably. Nordic. <laughs> anyway. They are the descendants of powerful giants who occupy the structures of their civilization, which has been long destroyed. Though there's no doubt that the greatest threat to the Norn way of life is Jormag, not only do his minions continue their corruption of the land, but many Norn have become worship of Jormag as if he was a great spirit. Of course they're wrong, but don't try to tell them that. Without a sword in hand, of course. That might help. Could probably tell them that. But to those Norn who remain faithful to their great spirits, their greatest challenge will be to regain their homeland from the icy grip of an elder dragon, which is no easy task. They must continually prepare for the day when his fate will be forced upon them by Norn warriors, or they will die trying. But, thank you for watching. This has been Crossing the Sticks. Remember, you don't have to cross the sticks in order to find Guild Wars 2 lore. All you have to do is come right here. And I will see you next time. And, once again, I apologize for my voice.